Have you ever wondered what a response code is and why it's important in web technology? Well, in the grand world of the web, a response code is a standardized numeric status code returned by a web server to a client's browser or application. It's part of the HTTPP or Hypertext Transfer Protocol response. These codes aren't just random numbers, oh no, they're sent by the server to provide information about the status of the requested HTTP operation. Each code signifies a specific condition or outcome related to the client's request. They're split into different classes, each with its own range of codes indicating different types of responses. First up, we have 1xx informational status codes. These are like the server saying, hey, I've got your request and I'm working on it. An example is code 100 continue, which means the server has received the initial part of the request and the client can carry on with the rest. Next are two XX success codes. These are the server's way of saying, all good here. Your request was successfully received, understood and accepted. For instance, 200 OK signifies that the request was successful and the server is returning the requested resource. Then we've got three XX redirection codes. These are the server's way of saying, you need to do something else to complete your request. An example is 301 moved permanently, which means the requested resource has moved to a new URL and isn't coming back. Following these, we have four XX client error codes. These are the server saying, oops, you've made a mistake. For instance, 404 not found signifies that the requested resource was not found on the server. It's like the server's way of saying, I can't find what you're looking for. Last but not least, we have five XX server error codes. These are the server admitting, my bad, something went wrong on my end. An example is 500 internal server error, a generic error message indicating something went haywire on the server while processing the request. So, why are these response codes so important in web technology? Well, they provide information about the outcome of a client's request and guide both users and developers in understanding the status of web requests. Whether the request was successful, redirected, encountered an error, or needs further action, these codes are the silent communicators of the web. They help diagnose issues and ensure proper communication between servers and clients during web interactions. So next time you encounter a response code, you'll know exactly what it means and why it's there.